hello everyone this is asmrf today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you this type of graphic design that means the portfolio cover making tutorials so this one is easy to make and i'll show you how to do that and i'll show this one step by step so let's analyze at first uh, here is three or four things you have to maintain first of all the background that means this one and here is a triangle actually i just uh, take a uh, rectangle and i rotate this one by the according to the like 45 degree and here a uh, circle like this and here lots of circle actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten total ten circle but i maintain the ratio that means the golden ratio and here i use a text and color and picture as well so i'll show you all the things step by step if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and take a new that means i'll take a new canvas which is 2560 and 1440 and pixel that is the 200 pixel per inch resolutions and white color background and hit the create button you'll get a background or canvas after that go to the adjustment layer and take a solid color so i'll take solid color like a blue type solid color so this one the code i'll give you so i'm copying this one and paste over here and hit the ok button and then i'll take two rectangle and i'll rotate that so again just go to the rectangle tool and take a rectangle like that so same color you can pick the color from here if you double press in a shape layer and you'll get a dropper that is the eyedropper or eye picker or color picker so select here you'll get and hit ok so press ctrl t and press the shift button and rotate this one i'll make it 45 degree angle so place here and hit the tick button and select yes and right press and blending options from here i'll add a drop shadow and drop shadow i'll move it like that so the shadow settings will be like this so the blending mode will be multiply opacity 60 percent angle will be 180 degree distance 22 pixel and spared that is the 8 size 17 and hit ok so press ctrl j and you will get another copy of this layer so you can drag it and just place over here or here so you can select okay that's fine so that's nice and then i'll copy this one by pressing ctrl j again and i'll take that that means here but shadow in a downside so i'll make it in upper side so i'll place here at first and edit this one okay like this so here is the effects options just double press over here you will get another window that is the layer style or blending options and go to the drop shadow again and drag here the drop shadow will appear in a upper side so here that's good and hit the ok button you have to place this one properly okay that's fine press ctrl g again and just drag it yeah that's fine and now i'll take the circles and other stuff so at first uh, i'll select this group or this layer and make it group and i'll give that the bg line okay that's fine and go to the shape tool and take the ellipse tool make a circle like that the bigger circle so big type circle i'll change the color it will help you out to watch here so i'll take a circle like this that's fine and press ctrl j and press ctrl t i'll make it smaller like that so I'll place here yeah that's fine and hit the ok button and enter button and press ctrl j again and i'll take another circle over here press ctrl t and make it bigger like that that's fine so similar like that so this one is a big circle and this one is 
not too much big and this one is like that so this circle will be according to this one so i'll make this circle the first one press ctrl t and make it like bigger like this that's fine and hit ok so i'll replace here and replace here a image so this one i'll change the color that is the white type color and you have to make it in a upper side that's fine so this one is our another ellipse one so i'll add image over here go to the file and place embedded options and here i downloaded image from the website and i'll give you that download link in my video description so right press and the create clipping mask so you can place it properly so press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger yeah that's fine and hit the tick button and then i'll use this one so i'll make group of this layer that is the picture one and i'll add another picture go to the file and place embedded again and here is a camera i downloaded this one and right press and flip horizontal and i'll place over here and hit the tick button right press and create clipping mask so you have to drag it here and then create clipping mask so and you have to drag it and make it smaller like that yeah that's fine and hit the tick button and i'll write down something over here so go to the text tool and select once and write down something i'm using the font that is the nexa bold and here i'll give you that download link the font download link in my video description so portfolio that's good and here and i'll pick the color from here go to the character options if you want to get the character options over here go to the window and character here is the character okay that's fine and select here and select here the color and pick the color from here or you can choose the color from here or you can give the color code over here that's fine so that's good and if you want to make it black you have to go here color and make it black that's good and i'll make a little bit black like that so and then go to the round rectangle tool and make it zoom and draw a line over here and i'll change the color which is the pink color so here is the pink color okay that's fine and okay and i'll take another text over here and write down something go to the text tool and draw uh, area and take the font that is the light type font yeah and i'll copy that text from here and i'll paste that text in this window and here is the area and you can do the bigger size of the area so you have to at first double click over here and then you can adjust the area like this so that's fine and if you need you can change the size of the ellipse and i'll make it bigger like that yeah that's fine so portfolio this text and this this line i'll take in a upper portion and this portion i'll take in upper side so that's fine and define the area like this yeah and like this so that's good and i'll draw a button like this type of okay and go to the ellipse tool actually round rectangle tool and draw a round rectangle like that so this window will appear and you can make it round like that so i'll give the color from here pick color from here and i'll make it like this yeah that's fine and i'll write down something and that is asmrf and make it white and make the bold type text that's good and I'll select our place over here that's fine and if you want to make it more properly alignment select here and here is the alignment option 
yeah that's fine this portion is ready and here i will draw some like round or ellipse like that so this one at first this portion that means this portion is our text portion and this one is as well so group it and make it text and here the things the layers those are the picture so these two groups this one and this one so select these two layers and make it group and give the name picture and this ellipse so i'll put this ellipse in this group so that's fine so this one is our text this one is our pictures and this one is our background that's fine now one thing i'll write down something here and that is the portfolio i'll take this portfolio press ctrl j and make this one in uh, outside of the group okay that's fine press ctrl t and make it bigger like that and place over here and i'll take this one in this portion actually yeah that's good and i'll change the font make it like thin or light type makes a light that's good and change the color i'll make the color white color and down the opacity like this so i'll apply a drop shadow over here so right press and go to the blending options and make it drop shadow a little bit so you have to adjust the drop shadow yeah, you have to make it normal and the drop shadow a little bit that's it and if you need you can change the opacity yeah that's fine and flow as well so that will be more precisely okay that's fine and now i'll draw the circles at first i'll draw here so here here is three circles and here is three circles so i'll draw over here so here is the ellipse tool and draw a circle like that yeah that's fine right press and blending options and go to the gradient overlay and make the gradient like pink type color so double click over here pick the color from here and it will be like pink and change this one i'll make it like yeah that's fine or you can take it like this and you can adjust the lights or the other stuffs so you can delete this actually this one so you can make it like this or like this okay you have to blend it properly so here and here so you can adjust this one that's fine yeah the ratio and hit okay and hit okay so i'll take this color and give here so right press and copy the layer style and select this one this ellipse and right press and paste the layer style so this one will be same and now this ellipse and go to the blending options and again the gradient overlay and change the gradient color like here so pick like aqua type yeah that's fine and yellow that is like orange type yellow and hit ok and hit ok so you can change the um, angle uh, it could be like this yeah 45 or 47 degree so i want to give the same color over here so right press and copy the layer style and select this circle and paste the layer style it will be same and now i want to change this one so right press and go to the blending options and gradient overlay and i'll change the gradient from here so it will be like pink and this one will be like blue type or this type yeah that's fine and hit ok and hit ok so here i'll give same color so select here and right press and copy the layer style and select this ellipse and paste the layer style so it will be same so i'll press alter and 
take this one here and I'll change the color so right press and blending options from here here is the gradient options and change the gradient color like uh, any kind of color it could be so this one is good and hit ok now this one was our group which is the circles circles ok then I'll add some shapes over here go to the shape tool and the custom shape tools and from here you'll get some shapes I'll take the shapes over here and give a draw like that so I'll change the color like this so pick the color from here and press ctrl J and I'll take this one from here and press ctrl T and make it smaller like this and hit the tick button and pick the color from here okay or oh, this color is good and hit okay and take this one actually this one press ctrl J use the arrow key to make it like this so select over here and place it press ctrl T and make it a little bit bigger and hit the tick button and pick color from here any kind of colors you can pick up from here and you can down the opacity yeah that's good and select these three shapes and make it group and give the name of this group shapes okay our design is almost done so if you need you can change the color so I'll go to the gradient adjustment gradient overlay and I'll pick a color or change the color like this yeah that's good and our design is ready if you need you can change the colors or the gradient in your own way so those will be amazing for this so I'll make it like this yeah that's fine and hit ok and hit ok you can drag it and you can make it like this so you can change the color I'll change the color like this actually this color is good the assumption to make the circle in a different types of colors and other stuff so you can get this type of creative type uh, graphic design and i just shown you way so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye